What's up everybody? Welcome back. Patrick here in this video and in the next few videos actually I want to talk about factoring a difference of squares. There's going to be tons of examples in this section where you're going to have to factor expressions that are difference of squares. And just to do a little review, if you remember, difference of squares is generally when something is in this format, a squared minus b squared. And this will always factor to a minus b and a plus b. All right, so if you were to expand this, basically the middle terms would cancel out and you would just be left with the first and last term. So simple examples, x squared minus four. What's the square root of x squared? It's just x square root of four is two. So we got x plus two, x minus two. If you were to FOIL this out, you would end up with that because those middle two terms would cancel out that positive two x, negative two x, net out to zero. So x squared minus nine, for example, x plus nine, x minus nine. All right, so that's what I mean when uh, we're dealing with a difference of squares. Basically, you just want to remember that formula right there. So Going to number one, pretty easy, x squared minus 81. First thing you always wanna check actually before I get into this is if you could take anything out because sometimes stuff won't be a difference of squares but when you factor out the common factor, that remaining bracket ends up being a difference of squares. In this case, we can't factor anything out. We can just go straight into factoring it as a difference of squares. So x squared minus 81, that turns into x plus nine, x minus nine. So that is the answer for number one. What about number two? Now this one's a little bit more complex, so I'm actually gonna rewrite it up here. We got x to the power of four minus 81. Now x to the power of four, we can rewrite as x squared to the power of two minus 81. Right? So we took x to the power of 4, rewrote it as x squared squared. And now, notice that that's a difference of squares. You would have the square root of this is just x squared. Square root of 81 is 9. So we got x squared minus 9, x squared plus 9. Right? So the square root of x to the power of 4 is x squared. It's always just going to be half of that number. So for example, the square root of x to the 8 is x to the 4. The square root of x to the 30 is x to the 15. All right? So just remember that general rule there. So the square root of x to the 4 is x squared. And then the square root of 81 is just 9. So minus 9 plus 9. And then from here, Notice that x squared plus 9, we can't factor that. That's not a difference of squares because there's a plus sign here. But x squared minus 9, that is a difference of squares. We could factor that further. So this factors into x minus 3, x plus 3. And here we're left with x squared plus 9. So whenever you see something in this format and this has an even exponent but it's larger than two, usually what's going to happen is there's going to be multiple times where you have to factor as a difference of squares. So this x squared minus nine we were able to further break down. And you won't get full marks if you just leave your answer like this. When they say factor, they want to have as many brackets as possible. So x to the power of 4 minus 81, that is x minus 3, x plus 3, and then x squared plus 9. Remember, x squared plus 9, pretty much x squared plus any number where a is greater than 0. This can't factor in general. All right. So that there is the final answer for number two. What about number three? We've got uh, 3x squared minus 48. So rewriting this up here, 
Notice this almost looks like a difference of squares, but notice that we can't take the square root of three, that's not a smooth number, and we can't take the square root of 48, that's not a smooth number either. But what we can do, what we always have to check for initially, can we take anything out of both expressions? And notice from both of these expressions, we could take out a three. So if we take out a three, this divided by three is just x squared minus 48 divided by three, is just 16. And now notice x squared minus 16, that is a difference of squares. So 3 bracket this x squared minus 16 breaks down into x minus 4, x plus 4. So remember, whenever you're doing factoring, first thing you're always checking, can you take anything out? Here and here, you couldn't take anything out, so you go straight into factoring as a difference of squares. But here, you were able to take out a 3, and then that remaining expression there factors as a difference of squares. So this here is three bracket x minus four x plus four. And then finally we got x to the eight minus 256. This one is a little bit more complex. Again, notice the square root of 256 is 16 and x to the power of eight, we can rewrite as x to the power of four squared. So the square root of x to the eight, if you remember, as I mentioned before, it's just half of that exponent, so it's gonna be x to the four. So we can rewrite this as x to the four minus 16, x to the four plus 16, right? Square root of x to the eight is x to the four, square root of 256 is 16 x to the 4 plus 16, we can't factor that anymore. But notice this here, that is a difference of squares. So that would be x squared minus 4, x squared plus 4. And then this bracket just stays the same because we can't factor it anymore. Right? Square root of x to the 4 is x squared. Square root of 16 is 4. And then notice this x squared minus 4, we could factor again into x minus 2 x plus 2. x squared plus 4 we can't factor, so that just stays the same. x to the power of 4 plus 16 we can't factor, so that stays the same as well. So we took this expression here, factored it into four different brackets. So we have to factor as a difference of squares three times. Here, here, and then over there. So this is x minus two, x plus two, x squared plus four, x to the power of four plus 16. And that there is your final answer, right? So tons of different tricks that could come up when you're factoring as a difference of squares, and we're gonna do more examples in the next video.